Hi, my name is Stephen Eadig and today I'm going to conduct an experiment live on air. This is the last of 20 grams of creatine monohydrate that I'm drinking. Mmm, all gone. Now, what am I going to test? There was a paper published in 2003 that said if you in drink 20 grams of creatine monohydrate, it increases fluid levels in the body. And you might be thinking, well, you don't want to be all fluidy. But you remember creatine monohydrate in basically improves your muscle volume because that's where most of your fluids are. There's no, not much fluid in fat. There's only 12.5% fluid. Your muscle has about 70 something percent fluid. So you will tend to put on, uh, get a lot more fluid in your muscles. So it's a good thing. Now that's if you drink 20 grams all at once. And we used to call that a loading dose. Nowadays, we just recommend you take three to five grams per day, and that should be enough to support your health. Now, does it affect women and men differently? Yes, it does. Women tend to have less muscle mass, and women are more prone to putting on fluids due to their monthly cycles. But it's still not a massive, massive problem for you, because this study was done on men and women, and they affected both of them evenly. So don't panic, ladies. You can still have creatine. Now, what does creatine do? Creatine helps you make this thing called ATP, which is ATP. And of course, that gives you energy to, to lift more muscles now, lift more weights. So if you can lift more weights, you can grow more muscle. Growing more muscle is a good thing. Now, creatine is not a weird substance that is, is only found in supplements. It's found in your food too. In fact, creatine is very rich in meats, fish, and eggs, and those sorts of animal products. So you're taking a natural amino acid supplement that can boost energy, boost muscle mass, boost strength, and overall improve your health. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time.